All right, welcome to lecture two, reactions involving acids and bases. This is a continuation of our acid and base unit. In this particular lecture, we're going to look at specific reactions that are involved in acids and bases. And these are the essential questions that need to be addressed is what is an alkylized reaction? And what are the three main uh, types of acid reactions that form salts? To begin with, let's talk about a definition that you need to be aware of, and that is dissociation and ionization. Um, both of these mean that when a substance is dissolved in water, they lead to the formation of ions. So, for instance, with, in terms of acids are concerned, about when you take an acid such as HCl, HCl will dissolve into water to create H, H plus ions plus Cl minus ions. So you can essentially say that an acid um, has been ionized in water or dissociates. All right. The word dissociation and ionization are often used in, interchangeably in acid and base reactions um, because they both lead to formation of ions. And so we will use the word dissociation and ionization quite a bit in this unit. All right, so our first type of reactions we're going to look at are these alkylase reactions. Um, alkylase are bases that dissolve in water to form the hydroxide ion. So we're going to go through a few common examples. Many of the ones that I'm going to show you are, uh, are ones that I often see come up on tests and are also written in your book. So the first one we're going to look at is K2O, potassium oxide. Um, and any alkali metal oxide um, will go through this type of reaction. So you could substitute K for any alkali metal. And so potassium oxide plus water is going to react to form potassium ions um, and hydroxide ions. And so remember, an alkylase reaction is going to form hydroxide ions um, um, that dissolve in water. All right. So, and that's, that's a good point. Many of these are all reactions with water itself. All right. So here's another one. We take ammonia, NH3, and we react it with water or dissolve water to form NH4 plus plus OH minus type thing. All right. And then another one, let's take carbonate, CO3, 2 minus, plus water again, and it forms HCO3 minus, plus OH minus. All right? Now, the one thing I want you to learn also from this is that HCO3 minus here, is going to further uh, react and it's going to um, decompose in from HCO3 and it's going to form an equilibrium and form CO2 plus OH minus. Alright, so um, there are some examples of alkalized reactions. Just kind of learn these and get familiar enough with them. Again, with with the oxides there, the metal oxides, you take a metal oxide with water and it's going to form the metal ion plus a hydroxide ion. Um, and then these other ones just kind of be familiar with. All right, so that's for that for that category. Let's move on to a very important category of acid reactions and that's with metals. Um, 
acids, acids react with metals to form salts. Remember, salts are just ionic compounds plus hydrogen gas. Always, all right? You're going to form hydrogen gas. So let's take like hydrochloric acid, for instance, plus zinc, and that is going to form zinc chloride, which is our salt. Make sure you get the right nomenclature, plus H2 gas. All right, and essentially what's going to take place is that the zinc and the, or the metal and the hydrogen ion from the acid are just going to exchange places. And that's all they're going to do. So it's kind of like a single replacement reaction. So you can see the same thing. Let's look at um, H2SO4. There's our acid plus iron or metal and it should exchange here the form iron sulfate plus H2 gas again alright we can label these our gases like so all right, so we can take any of these. Let's take another acid, maybe a acetic acid. It's a weaker acid, HC2H3O2. And again, let's do a metal magnesium. And again, we're going to switch places with the H and the magnesium to form magnesium acetate plus or H2 gas, right? And so that's just simply what happens when metals react with acids. All right, the next category are carbonate acid reactions. Um, this is a, a another very important classification. A lot of reactions that occur with this where you take your acid plus the carbonate and it's going to produce salt plus water plus carbon dioxide every time. So with carbonates we get water and CO2 always as products plus some salt. Okay, so let me give you an example. Let's say we have HCl plus, um, let's do calcium carbonate. And that reaction is going to result in forming calcium chloride plus H2O plus CO2 every time. All right, there's our salt and then our water and carbon dioxide. Um, let's take sulfuric acid, H2SO4, plus let's do sodium carbonate, another carbonate. So you got to recognize it's carbonate, and it's going to form a salt. So essentially, um, sodium sulfate plus our water and carbon dioxide. All right, every time we get our salt, water, and carbon dioxide when we have uh, acid-base carbonate reactions. All right. Uh, erase this one here and do one more. Let's do acidic acid again. So acidic acid is H C two H. 3O2 plus mm, let's do potassium bicarbonate bicarbonate and carbonate same type of deal there going to form water salt and carbon dioxide 
So we're going to form potassium acetate plus water plus CO2 gas. All right. So again, there's our salt that's been made. All right. So there's our carbonate reactions you need to be familiar with. All right, the last classification we're going to look at is neutralization reactions. Um, this is when you take an acid and you add a base to the acid. And you're going to form a salt plus water every time. One of the most famous ones is taking like HCl and sodium hydroxide and you form sodium chloride plus water very common reaction um, HNO3 nitric acid and say ammonium hydroxide is my base and you're going to form ammonium an N. Ammonium nitrate plus water. All right. Every time you're going to do this. Essentially what's occurring here is again the metal is replacing the H. Ammonia is replacing the H. They're just exchanging places here and creating water every time. Um, Let's take a look at acetic acid again as well. Uh, let me get rid of, erase this. We have more room here. Alright, so we take acetic acid, HC2H3O2, and we react it with some kind of base, let's say, um, oh, I don't know, what's a good one, um, potassium hydroxide, and again, we're going to exchange places here with the metal and the base and the H, and we'll get um, potassium acetate as our salt plus H2O water. Okay. Uh, another one that's common that I would write down while we're thinking about this, we'll use acidic acid still since it's up, but we we'll may have one of those metal oxides, um, say like copper oxide, so any kind of metal oxide is going to act as a base. So these oxides act as bases, and you're going to get an exchange, same idea, and so you'll get copper acetate C2H3O2, and it's actually copper 2 acetate plus H2O, all right? So there are some examples of acid-base neutralization reactions. All right, make sure you come to class knowing all of these categories, being able to do several of these examples that we give you on a, on a test or quiz in class. And um, that is it for this lecture.